the elected representatives have never passed any piece of legislation that has been signed into law to regulate greenhouse gas. I am not asking for a response. I am just telling you, the elected representatives, the people who send us here from our districts, we have never, we have never passed a legislation that has gone into law to regulate greenhouse gas emissions. If you would put up the, the picture on the slide there. This is for uh, my colleague from Illinois, my friend uh, Mr. Nelson. This is kind of going off script on greenhouse gases. But Phil, can you tell me what is going on there? That is a harvest uh, operation, uh, I believe, uh, combining soybeans. And that smoke in the back, what is that? Is that dirty uh, petroleum product? No, that is dust. Um, dust made up of? Basically material coming off the plant after it is ripe. Dried leaves, uh, stem, I mean, they keep the beans and they spread out the chaff, what we would That's call correct. it. Is there not a fear from the agriculture community that the EPA is moving to regulate that activity? Yes, there is. And as a matter of fact, I have made the comments many times. If you look even at the Kyoto Protocol, we would have to equip our harvest machines with dust collectors if you were going to take it to the nth degree. Which would be additional capital expense or maybe a water trailer and water it down to collect chaff. Chaff. This is dust from leaves and stems and agriculture. That is pretty close to my home. And I took that as I was driving back from taking my kids. He was in the field. I pulled off on the side, took about five photos. I took that around in October, the election year, to the Farm Bureau meetings um, and held it up on my, my phone and said, this is, what, this is what we have in an EPA gone awry when they are going to spend time, effort, energy regulating chaff. And of, of course, in my congressional district, the people are just unbelievably um, astounded that, uh, that, that we would do such um, a thing. So thank you for that. Let me just ask, um, does uncertainty raise the cost of capital? This is just a traditional, just a business question. Dr. Goldman, does uncertainty raise, you may not know, does uncertainty raise the cost of borrowing money? Um, not in my area. The, the answer is it definitely does. It raises the interest, the rate on raising capital. So the reason why I ask this question is because certainty is what everybody's talking about. Dr. Goldman and Dr. Gold, Mr. Goldstein says, this produces more certainty. This greenhouse gas regulation is good for business. We have more certainty. That's correct, right? That's your testimony. Uh, Mr. Harnett, can you want to respond? Is, do, you, is your, do you have more certainty today in U.S. steel production or less? Definitely less. And uh, the one thing. So the about cost of capital increases for expansion there, if there is The cost of capital is. is something that, that we know that there is not an alternative to the integrated steel process presently and the fact that we require carbon to create new steel. And, uh, you know, the integrated process is slightly different than the electric furnace process because the electric furnace process Go quickly. requires um, recycled scrap. We mine ore that is required to make new steel, and there is not enough recycled scrap in the world to provide steel for all the applications. So this creates more uncertainty for your business? Yes. And is there more uncertainty for the Chinese steel mill or less? It doesn't apply to them. So there is less uncertainty, lower cost of capital for Chinese steel, which would make Chinese steel more competitive in this country. Another aspect. Uh, Mr. Well, Nelson, in the agriculture community. Uh, more uncertainty or less? Uh, absolutely more. And you look at our competitors in South America and Europe that we compete against, and you just, the, the fear of the unknown about how many more undue regulations are going to make us more uncompetitive in the environment that we are part of. Let me go to our economist. Uh, more uncertainty or less? Uh, Dr. Thorning, this uh, premise on uh, how we create jobs, how do we raise capital? Well, I think definitely more uncertainty. And the back rules released in November really don't help. So I think um, 
it's pretty clear that this this uh, regulation will have a negative impact on jobs and economic growth. Thank you very much.